in today's episode of our Inspiring Women series, I'm talking to June Minayama Smithson, who is an artist, designer, lecturer, and a D and A D judge. Hi, June. Thank you so Hello. much for talking to me today. <laughs> I'm so excited um, about our chat. Um, firstly, because I know that you're known as an artist on a mission to inject optimism into the world, um, which I find totally intriguing. Um, could you tell me something about your work and how you go about injecting optimism into the world? Sure, sure. Yeah, um, so my definition of optimism is not, it's not just a lofty, happy idea, but rather it's the belief that even if you are at the not, not a nice place right now, um, you can get to the brighter side. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my definition of optimism. And that optimism comes with uh, resilience as well. Mm -hmm. And what I aim to do with my art is to get that message across with bold colours and patterns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see one of your cushions just there. Oh, yes, my yes, bright yes. colour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the examples. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about something you've been working on recently? Sure, yeah. I, I, I just um, um, uh, published my NFT collection. Yeah. And um, again, it's um, about optimism. But I just wanted to create something to make space for clarity and internal um, empowerment. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of encouraged people to have dialogue, internal dialogue. Mm -hmm. And it's a series of um, 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 animation with, um, lovely colors yeah, and yeah. the uh, colors are quite calming i found yes yeah. so, so some some has quite calming color and motion and um, music as well some kind of encourages kind of um calm breathing mm -hmm. but um others are more kind of snappy happy to get into that um more optimistic mood yeah. so um, it, um yeah it's um it's designed to uh, to get into mm -hmm. happy mood yeah. in kind of various ways mm -hmm. well good luck with those and i'm sure mm -hmm. they'll have a great effect on the people that buy them <laughs> um, yeah it's uh, it's now exhibiting at uh, part vision in london and it's part of these um street level uh, exhibition called City Vistas, which is part of the um, uh, City of London uh, initiative, Culture Mile. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be on all summer. So, yeah. Oh, I'll have to come and check that out then. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good. Um, at Kissen, we believe that hmm. it's really important to be yourself, um, to live your own unique life, um, so to be unconventional, embrace your uniqueness, uh, that's your superpower. What does being unconventional mean to you as an artist and designer? Yeah, great question. So I didn't, um, I guess I didn't um, start my career in an unconventional way, but rather start it conventional way. Uh -huh, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> I graduated um, with a degree in English language okay. um, in, in Japan. So I studied linguistics, phonetics, you know, Noam Chomsky and uh, all that yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> Very different but, what you do now then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, um, I got a job, my first job, at the airline company um, doing desk work and uh, I got bored 
Mm-hmm. That's that's true. True. Yeah. So that that's when I started to um, go to night school, mm-hmm. uh, evening to, to intensive evening uh, course to become a web, web designer. Mm-hmm. And when I became web designer, I realized that web design is just a tiny section of the uh, whole uh, visual medication. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's how um, I ended up in London to study graphic design at mm-hmm. uh, London College of Communication. Uh-huh. So yeah, not so, uh, your job changed significantly, but also your life. I mean, you moved yeah. to the other side of the world. <laughs> so I have very unconventional career path, but mm-hmm. I have no regrets. Even um, you know things I learned how to use Excel <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can be useful now. So uh, yeah, all, all experience comes to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can see that you're wearing um, a kiss and watch today. Looks really good um, with your outfit. So we designed the kiss and watch to be worn in a more unconventional way um, with the watch face on the inside of the wrist. Um, had you ever tried wearing a watch this way? No, actually, but it um, it feels quite intimate. Mm-hmm. Yes, which I like. It's it's just me and my watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think it probably takes quite some time getting used to wearing it that mm-hmm. way. If you're typically used to wearing the watch the conventional way. Um, mm-hmm. Personally, I find it quite quite comfortable, um, yeah. quite easy and quite a subtle way to check the time. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know if you know this, but apparently um, from what I researched, Japanese yeah. women, um, quite a lot of them wear their watch this way. This is true, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And in Japanese animation as well, you can see. Them oh, watching. I didn't realize that. Yeah, really yeah. Really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so quite interesting. Um, yeah. And the last question I have for you is about mm. kissing. So kissing is the old English word for kiss, as uh, mm. you know. And yeah. I'm always intrigued um, in the social etiquette of kissing in different countries. So I mm. wanted to ask you about the social etiquette of kissing in Japan. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting question. So kissing, or oh, kiss in Japanese, would say. Oh, okay, very good. <laughs> yeah. um, for, um, probably people won't do it publicly mm-hmm. so much. Maybe just a peck. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm definitely not um, happening in a kind of social scenario. Uh, kind of. Oh, hello, lovely to meet you. Uh, mwah, mwah, ah, okay, great. this doesn't happen in Japan. Doesn't no, doesn't happen. No. Um, I, yeah. I could imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah um, uh, along with um, hugs and stuff, yeah. it's just, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're more kind of <laughs> yeah, <a bit> more <laughs> reserved, reserved, I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, this doesn't mean we, we are antisocial, no, but I think the... Um, I, I heard that um, the distance of your um, how you feel intimate or polite mm-hmm. is different from by culture by culture. So yeah. Um, yeah. I think that is the case. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think it's more strictly romantic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And did you ever feel when you came to Europe or to the UK um, and people wanted to go mwah mwah, did you feel uncomfortable or did you just um, embrace the difference? I think I I was okay, but I, I remember my mum felt a bit uncomfortable. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why do I have to hug and kiss strangers? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, cultural different. and generational difference. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, thank you so much, June, for taking the time to talk to me today. Really appreciate it. And thank good you. luck with your NFTs and all of your artwork. And I hope we can chat together again soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. <laughs>